We are under the lights this evening as we Ladies get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. It's the AAA National Championship between the Sacramento River Cats and the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Domingo Herman, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more, so this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Striding in, Jalen Miller, and we are set for baseball here this evening. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Austin Slater is on deck. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 3 2 one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And it's a full count three and two to Austin Slater. Three two pitch. And he lays off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. In now, Gerard Daniels. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Right fielder coming on. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Batting four. The left fielder. Number 83. Stepping in, Chris Shaw. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-1 one, one home. Slater, the runner at first with two gone. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Tyson Ross, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy also uses that pitch that's kind of in vogue in the game now, that cutter. It looks to the hitter like a four-seam fastball, and the next thing you know, it's running in on you. Mariano Rivera used that pitch exclusively in the ninth inning and broke a lot of bats, and this guy joins a long list of guys that have added the cutter to his repertoire. So digging in now, Ben Ruda. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Popped up. Miller has a play. He's got it one away. Stepping into the box, Rosell Herrera. One out, nobody on. And he takes a cold strike, too. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. In time to first, and there are two away. At the plate, Clint Frazier. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Bases are empty here with two men out. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Elliot Ramos. Hit sharply on the ground to the left, and that's through for a hit. So a base hit to kick things off here, and there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second. That is good. The catcher, Joey Ball. So now to the plate, Joey Bart. Swing and a miss, two and two now. First with no outs here. On a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Stepping in now, Jalen Davis. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Into the box now, Zach Green. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. From the belt, the pitch almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Here's the 3 1. Swing, strike two. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Yeah. 
Ready now, Brandon Wagner. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One one home. Two balls, one strike. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Going back is Slater. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Jason Dominguez. Now at the plate, Jason Dominguez. Bottom of the second here with no score. The two seamer there as this is fouled off to the left side. And that one got a piece of him. And I'll tell you, this is the last guy in the lineup you want to put on base for free. He's probably feeling a little salty after getting drilled, and he's got speed to burn, so look for him to try and make something happen out there. Stepping up now, Kellen Deglin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Kyle Holder. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The third baseman. Mandy Alvarez. Standing in now, Mandy Alvarez. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. From the stretch, the one two. Four, hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Still two and two. Here's the two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Slater's on his horse. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Now in the box, Yomer Sanchez, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 
It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Pass ball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Boy, he's really on a roll in the hill right now. now. As we roll the through it again, count. remember, he yeah, struck right out there. the side in the last yeah. inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Riding in once again, Jalen Miller. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise, he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes result is the only thing that matters. Blake now Austin Slater can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two runners on first with one down grounded to the right a dive but he can't get it it's through into the outfield and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic hitting a base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Into the box, Gerard Daniels scooped up to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the second baseman, Caleb Cowart. One one fouled away. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Another 2-2 offering. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Three and two now. These are the kind of A-Bs regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. High in the air out to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Managers these days like to think of that nine-hole hitter as the second leadoff man, and he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double, and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. Step 
stepping in now. Ben Ruda. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Two strikes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Softly hit to the left side. And this will be no problem over at third, and there's the first down. The right fielder, Digging in to try it again. Rosell Herrera, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. He's fallen behind now, three and one. There's ball four. Now batting. The designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Clint Frazier. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. A big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. To the plate now, Brandon Wagner. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Here's the two one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Hit hard on the ground to second. Sanchez is there. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied nothing-nothing. set for the start of the fourth and digging in at the plate will be Chris Shaw this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case and he takes strike three called on the fastball one guy Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about now seven Ks, and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. In now, Elliot Ramos. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. At the plate, Joey Bart. And this is low, ball two, two and one. in there above the belt so it's even now two and two hey he's got great feel for that pitch right there he can throw it anytime he wants for a strike and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt it's full now three and two Jalen Davis would be next if they can keep this inning alive now the three and two pitch and he fouls this one off Got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Three up, 
Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Standing in, Jason Dominguez. He'll lead it off against Tyson Ross. A 1 1. This is lined to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there, keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Into the box now, Kellen Deglin. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. At the plate, Kyle Holder. Kyle Holder. The 1-1. One, one. Left side, but well fouled. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three two count runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field and that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's safe. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. So now to the plate, Mandy Alvarez. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra base. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Into the box, Caleb Cower. One and two now as that one's fouled off. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. In tight with the slider, two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Hey. 
struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Standing in now, Ben Ruda. One ball and two strikes to count. From the stretch, the one two. Popped into the air, back behind second. Sanchez is there for it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. Scranton leads it one to nothing. And the 2-1. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now that is the first baseman. Coming to the plate that now. Zach Green, Green comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 2-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Settling in now, Yomer Sanchez. Two out, nobody on. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 3 1. This is in the air to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Home half of the fifth coming up. Scranton leads it 1 to nothing. Trevor Cahill, the 6 foot 4 inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Trevor Cahill. Riding into the box, Rosel Herrera. It was a walk in his last trip. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. He takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Good battle. Count remains full. Another payoff pitch. Hit to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up, and he couldn't recover in time. Ready for another shot now. Clint Frazier is hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. 
He makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter Brandon Wagner. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hot shot on the ground is short. Bare handed for one. Relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started and next will be the speed threat Jalen Miller. The three two pitch line to the right side. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Digging in Austin Slater. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The drive out toward the gap in left center. Round first, digging for two. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they could get on? Got to take it one good at bat at a time. To the plate now, Gerard Daniels. Now a curveball is in there, one and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing the strike with that get me over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Okay. Runner at second here with one man out. A bouncer to the left side. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now to the plate, Chris Sean, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Popped him up. Alvarez is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. to go for the last half of the inning and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Jason Dominguez the 1 1 home liner toward right center and that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Now batting, Hector Keller. Keller. At the plate now, Kellen Deglin. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Digging in once again, Kyle Holder. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Two balls and two strikes now. The 
2 2. Is taken ball three. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Digging in, Mandy Alvarez. A fly out and a single for him so far. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Danny, I know that's not the execution he was looking for right there. That batter's eyes lit up on that pitch. Not a real good changeup. One of the things, Mark, this pitcher will do, he'll use that changeup like most pitchers will use the curveball. His changeup is that good. That one wasn't, though. Stepping in now, Caleb Power. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2 1. I got 3 1. 3 ball. One. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Ready once again, Ben Ruda. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Just hung in there on that one. Weak grounder down the line at third. Two two one more time. Another one sent foul. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field. The base hit. One run scores. The runner from second crosses the plate. Now a 5 nothing lead. You know, D-Ro, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big to our RBI hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Yeah, but that's a big two RBI base hit. Arlene Garcia comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Into the box now, Rosell Herrera. Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? 
I think Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball a ball and two strikes now. One two is taken for ball two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Here now the two two. Hard hit at third. Reined in. The tag gets one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Seventh inning coming up. Scranton leads it five to nothing. Adam Warren is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. With the plate, Elliot Ramos. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. To third. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now better. So the up steps Joey Bart Joey. now, and he's likely Bart. just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. The 3 2 pitch, and it's fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now Digging in, Jalen Davis. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Hits this one hard the other way. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Scranton leads it five to nothing. Tony Watson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Tony Watson. Last half of the seventh here, and here comes the first baseman, Brandon Wagner. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets going off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Into the box, Jason Dominguez hit on the ground to short. And there's one away. Stepping in, now Kellen Deglin, Deglin, over two for him Deglin. to this point. Deglin. The 1-1 one, one is taken for strike two. The 1-2. That's 
Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Now at the play, Kyle Holder. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Digging in and looking for more, Mandy Alvarez. Singled homer run in his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Two and two. Grounded to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. No runs, a hit, two left. Eighth inning coming up. Scranton leads it five to nothing. Dan Otero has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 36, Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Zach Green. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. This is flared right back over the mound. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Yeah, and I can speak from experience, and I can tell you, on a night like this, it's tough to get a good grip on the ball. It's a little frigid out there, and he might have lost a little bit of feeling in his fingers. Never easy to make a good throw when that's the case. So stepping in, Yomer Sanchez. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 so far. The 1-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. Barehanded at his knees. One there. On to first to complete the double play. The battle by the eight. Miller. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jalen Miller he has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Heading out towards shallow right. Herrera is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Wendy Peralta is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So coming to the plate, Caleb Coward. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ready with the one one pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Slater's under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Ben Ruda. He singled his last time up. Bases are empty, one man in. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Standing in now, Rosel Herrera fouled away. 
bases are empty here with two men out. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Sessa comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. The one and one pitch. One and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Ready with another two strike offering. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Dominguez is right there, one down. Stepping up to the plate, Gerard Daniels. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and two pitch. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. One out, nobody on. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Fouled off. Ready with another two strike offering. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder okay. in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. To the plate now, Chris Shaw. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Here's the two two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dominguez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready for another chance? Elliot Ramos. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. And he fouls this one off. Runner on first with two away. And it's fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. 
And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Brooks Kriske gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Stepping into the box, Joey Bart. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Lifted in the air to center. Dominguez is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top's player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing you'll ever see, six innings, but he definitely was a factor in the game. Did a good job while he was out there, and he gets the W because of it. Five 